focusing on decision making, but here we're we're looking at the individual. Uh, and so, with these four principles, we'll we'll want to focus on on key concepts that we'll need to understand in order to apply a particular principle. For instance, people face trade offs. The key word is trade off, so we we'll want to understand that. But in relation to that, we want to know, okay, um, okay, we face a trade off. Now, how does this affect equity and efficiency? And then with principle number two. Uh, uh, the cost of something is what you give up to get it. Actually, that's the definition of opportunity cost. So we want to understand what opportunity cost is. And so when I think about opportunity cost, I also think of the word sacrifice. What must I give up to get something? And then underneath here, we're going to look at principle number three, rational people think on the margin or think at the margin. Here we want to focus on uh, marginal analysis. Another key word there is rational, rational people. Basically, they're going to make decisions that are going to benefit them and not, you know, rather than make it, make them worse off. So um, that, that's something that we, we, um, we, we assume to be the case. And so marginal analysis focuses on the uh, decision of how much of an activity to do or how little of it we should do. How much should we study? How little should we study? And so that's P, principle number three. And then uh, principle four, or incentives, we're trying to influence behavior. And so that, that's the key word there, influencing behavior. And it can, there can be bad incentives and there can be good incentives. And so uh, that's, that's what, what those are. Uh, briefly, and so you'll want to read Mank and, and look at some of the examples he uses and, and try to get a feel on, on, uh, on uh, um, how, how principles are being applied. And so uh, here we're going to focus on people face trade offs. And so, really, when you think about trade offs, a trade off is when you're faced with two choices that are both desirable, but you can't choose both. And so uh, it's very important to understand that that when we're faced with trade-offs, uh, it often involves an issue of equity versus efficiency. And so, so here we're going to look at the individual. Well, let's look at the definition first. Equity focuses on the fair distribution of resources toward all members of society. And so the key word here is all. And so uh, when when um, so here what we're, we're saying is that we want to spread the resources across, across everyone. You know, everybody can benefit from these particular resources, not just productive members or unproductive members, and not just rich versus poor, but everyone. And then efficiency, on the other hand, it deals with making the most out of scarce resources. So here uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be an equal or even spread out among various segments of society. Here the focus is on providing the resources to, to people who are more, more productive. And, and, and so uh, let, let's uh, look at the decision of study or play. And so um, here, you know, with every choice, we make where we, we, we face the consequence. And so when we think of it from an equity standpoint, maybe we want to have a balance between both studying and playing. And so certainly, and here we're talking about playing video games, and you know, and it's and certainly, uh, we, we, we would, as economists, we think it would be desirable to have that balance. You know, you don't want to study all the time. So, you know, when you think at it, you know, what would be a fair distribution, you know, uh, you know, equal balance of uh, both studying and playing games might be good. Uh, but then, looking at it from an efficiency standpoint, and so here when we're looking at studying um, for economics, let's say, uh, uh, really, and Really, uh, the emphasis shouldn't be on playing games. Like if our and so really, let's let's focus here. What we're saying is, well, what's our goal? Our goal is to attain a high GPA, and and the reason why we want to attain a high GPA is because that will allow us to get into better schools, and by getting into better schools and graduating from better schools, we can get uh, 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 high high paying jobs. 
And so looking at, okay, well, we only have so much time. Uh, 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 so, so here when we talk about it from an efficiency standpoint, the focus should be just on studying and not really worrying about playing any video games whatsoever. And so, uh, um, uh, so that's kind of what we're talking about, equity and efficiency. And so whenever you want to increase efficiency, you, 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 can, you can't also increase equity. And so, so really what we're saying here is as equity, as efficiency rises, and in this case, what we're talking about, they're going to be studying and just studying alone, equity will will fall. And so, at, um, conversely, as efficiency falls, equity rises. And so, what you end up having here is a trade-off uh, between efficiency and equity. So, um, going back to this particular slide, that, that's one example, uh, but now let's look at the firm. And so here, uh, our industry here, you can have the potential to expand operations, in which case you would create jobs, or, or you can lay off workers, and in, in which case you would, uh, uh, um, uh, production would decrease. And so here, the decision when we're talking about expand versus um, um, lay off or contract, uh, we can also look at it in terms of equity and efficiency. And so so when we look at this from an equity standpoint, well, the thing is we don't want to hurt a particular region or area or plant or segment. So so in this case, rather than rather than um close any plants, maybe um to for it to be a more fair uh distribution, let's uh cut production and hours at every plant. And so that would be uh, an example of, of uh, achieving equity. Um, but, um, but, but if we were to look at it from an efficiency standpoint, here what we're saying is that rather than focus on, on equally cutting production across every plant, let's look at, see, uh, well, we're, we're only going to cut production at plants that are low performance, uh, in other words, they're inefficient. And so in this case, uh, um, um, we're not going to worry about a particular community that, that can be impacted by uh, a plant closing. And, and so um, when looking at it from an efficient standpoint, that would be the focus. And so, so in this case, uh, uh, plant closing uh, can certainly have a uh, um, can can have a negative impact on the community, and so and um, in uh, Albany, uh, we we we've noticed that with the closing uh, uh, with the closing of Cooper Tires and Merck and Bob Candies, and so so uh, uh, firms in this case uh, uh, were trying to achieve efficiency at the expense of equity, and so really when when going back to this particular principle. 